Welcome back everyone to the last part of our series. In this video I will show you how to add AR to the application. We will use AR Foundation to add AR. Depending on your target device, AR Foundation will use either AR Core or AR Kit to handle AR. To install AR Foundation, go to Window, then select Package Manager. Wait for the full list of packages to load, then select AR Foundation. In this tutorial, I will use AR Foundation 2.0.2. Click install on the bottom right corner of the window. Now, depending on your target platform, you have to either install AR Core XR plugin or AR Kit XR plugin if your target is iOS devices. Select ARKit XR plugin. If your target is Android devices, select AR Core XR plugin. Right click on the hierarchy, go to XR, then select AR session. Again, from XR submenu, create AR session origin. Add AR Raycast Manager as component. This will enable us to raycast against planes that AR detects. Add the new component called AR Plane Manager. This component will create a game object for each detected plane. Right click again on the hierarchy view, then select AR Default Plane from XR submenu. This game object will generate a mesh based on the information provided by AR Foundation. Drag this game object into assets folder to create a prefab. Select AR session origin, then assign the prefab to plain prefab. Change detection mode to horizontal. We don't need to detect vertical planes. Now, before building to device, we have to do some modifications. Disable camera game object. Go to file, then build settings. As platform, select Android or iOS depending on your target device. Go to Edit, then Project Settings, then select Player. In other settings, search for Pendle Identifier. Write something like com.guidev.ardrone. Search for Camera Usage Description. This is a message that will be shown to the user when requesting camera permission. In the text field, write used for AR or any other message that will explain why you are requesting camera permissions from the user. If you are building to iOS, you also have to set the architecture to IRM64. We are now ready to build to device. Click file on the top menu, then select build settings. Click build and run. This should open a new window. Choose a name for your bundle, then click save. You should now be able to check that plane detection is working correctly. You can also see that the drone is spawned at the initial position of the phone. Select Drawn Game Object and set the scale to 0.2. Let's now add the functionality to place the drone on the top of a plane detected by AR. Open Game Manager Scripts. Create a new function called Update AR. We want to fire a ray from the center of the screen to the world and check if it hits any AR plane. The center of the screen in viewport space is 0.5.5. We first need to transform these coordinates to screen space. Unity already provides a function to do that, called viewports to screen points.
import AR foundation and create three new member variables that we will need for AR. We will use ARA Cast Manager to cast rays and check if they hit any AR planes. The results will be stored in hit results. We will use AR Plane Manager to get information about the AR planes we hit. Go back to Update AR. Use Ray Cast Manager to cast a ray from the center of the screen. I used plane within bounds to only record the hit if the ray hits inside the bounds of the plane. If the number of elements in hit results is above zero, it means that we hit an AR plane. Use Plane Manager to check if the first plane we hit is a horizontal plane with an upward facing normal. AR Foundation can also detect planes that are facing downward, like the ceiling of the room. We don't want to use that as a base for the drone, that's why we check if the normal is upward facing. Get pose from hit result. We will use this variable to get the position of the hit. We will then place the drone in this position. Create a new variable called drone. This variable will hold a reference to the drone's game object. Set the position of the drone to the hit position. Go to update and then add a call to update AR. We will also have to make sure that we will only call this function when the drone is in idle state. We want initially the drone to be hidden and only show it when we detect a hit. Go back to Update AR and set the drone to Active. Go to Editor. Disable the drone's game object. Select Game Manager and assign Raycast Manager and Plane Manager. Just drag AR Session Origin into these fields. Assign Drone as well. Build to Device. This is the end of this series. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for the upcoming tutorials. Until next time.